Welcome to the Battlefield Aces. This is Sith Meter. And today we're bringing you the KV-5. KV-5 is currently the only Russian experimental tank. It is a Tier 8 tank. So if you're wanting a quick way in the high tier, uh, purchase of this tank or the Tortoise on the British line are fast ways into the game. I don't suggest it, but it can be done. So I've always gotten several requests to use Russian tanks. And uh, I know a lot of you guys out there like them, but uh, they don't really fit my play style. I played in 85, 30 to 40 games. I'd come out in the middle of the pack most of the time. Uh, I averaged about 1,500 damage. I would say anything higher than 16 to 1,700 would be a good match. Uh, and the only time I actually came out on top was when I was on a losing team. I scored the majority of the damage. I think once or twice I got over 2,000. So when the KV-5 first came out, it was a beast on the battlefield. But since then, we've had so many other tanks come out. The BT, you know, the Comet's been upgraded. We have other tank destroyers, other lines we've put out. You know, the KV-5 is kind of taking a back seat. There's other tanks out there that I think can do better. One, the uh, gun depression forces you to expose yourself. And this tank is made to play toward the back of the battlefield. Two, it's a slow tank, so you're not going to make it to those other sides of the map to help out your teammates quickly. And three, you actually need help from your team to be good. It looks like you're already down to five blues. We're going to target this Tiger 2. Right now we're going to go after you. Another Tiger 2. Trying to see if we can catch the top of the turret. He's exposing his side, so see now we have to move a little bit, try to reposition ourselves. And I can't quite hit that tank because of the gun depression. So you're going to spend some time maneuvering this tank. And now that I'm over the top of the dune, I'm now catching an angle and take out that IS-1. So it's a three on four match. And here come two more tanks, they're focusing on the Super heavy, which is great for us. We can sit here and focus on their side. 200 damage there. And we missed. And we might be able to finish him off too. And the Tiger 2 is gone. So now it's a 2 on 2 match. I don't recall who is left. It goes a B2. Focused on our teammate. They did manage to take out the super heavy. So I'm not sure who I have left. And because this tank wasn't made for dogfighting, I don't want to rush in. Because then it can easily flank me. And the game would be over. So I'm kind of trying to pin him down. Seeing if the uh, battle is going to change. Maybe my teammate can take out the other red and come help me. I think he's firing at my teammate. You can see I pulled back a little bit. Now I can't aim down far enough to hit him. So now I'm looking at the mini map, trying to figure out if he's moving or not moving. So now he took a shot at me. There he goes. So it's a good thing we backed up. Catch the top of this turret. Now it's a B2, so you're going to do a lot of damage no matter where you hit it. Trying to get our tank in a better position. I can't quite catch him. I see the very top, so now I'm switching over to see if I can see the other enemy. And it looks like he's going to go over and try to team up with his partner and take out my teammate. So now I need to rush over. Only the tank isn't very fast. So it's going to take us a minute to get there. Okay, so now. My teammates taking fire from two enemies. Again, I don't want to pull in too close. Let's see if he exposes himself. He does. Okay, so it looks like my buddy there is in the hangar. He should have some armor. 
should be doing some damage. Hopefully, uh, he has them pinned down, not wanting to make a move. So we're going to go ahead and go in. We're almost at full health. And I can't hit him, but got him there. And what, I live with one damage? One health point left, I believe. Can we get him? Got him. All right, so now it's a two-on-one match. Potential is down to under 101 hit points. And like I said, can be slow. But I managed to take out Fat Mike, who had his rear foe to us. So let's see how we did. All right, over 10,000 coins, 15,000 with the uh, platinum account. We ended up getting the executioner badge. And uh, because we got all the kills, we also got the medal for most kills. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I don't know how many other KB5 videos I will do because I want to be a benefit to my teammates. But maybe on a slow day, I'll pull it out and try to see what I can do with it for fun. Here go my current achievements. I still have 220 battles to fight to get. 135,000 coins. And here are my stats. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, Seth Yeager out.